Hey, what's up guys? As some of you know that the Arlo Ultra came out a couple months ago, it did not go very well. There was lots of problems with it. Since then, they had pulled the cameras from release. They are now re-releasing them tomorrow. Yesterday and today, we got a couple of software updates, so we're gonna be testing those out and answering the big question for you guys. Is the Arlo Ultra ready? Should you just go with the Pro 2 or should you go with another camera? So now that the Arlo Ultra is pretty much here, Let's find out if it's worth it. So ready or not, here it comes. Okay, so I just want to set the bar. We all know that the Arlo Pro 2 is a pretty good camera. There haven't been really any complaints. It's been out for a while and they pretty much have everything ironed out with that thing. So with that said, when we start doing the comparisons, know that as of right now, before we start showing you any ultra footage, the Pro 2 is considered good footage. It's 1080p footage. Um, I'll show you some examples right here of what it looks like. This is the Arlo Pro 2 footage. This is kind of considered the baseline standard for wireless cameras. Keep in mind, we're testing wireless cameras here. So this will be our baseline going forward. With that said, let's start testing out the Ultra and show you some footage. This is the Arlo Ultra and what that footage looks like. The colors are very good. I would say they're more true to colors than the Arlo Pros. Now we jump over to the Arlo Pro 2, you can see that it is a lot higher contrast. Everything seems brighter, the sky's brighter, the grass is brighter. Things seem a little bit more tweaked and unrealistic as they do with the Arlo Ultra. Back here with the Arlo Ultra, we can see that wider field of view. Keep in mind that this is 4K footage that is downgraded to 1080 for this video, but this is shot in 4K and this is what it looks like. Now here's a side-by-side -side of the two clips together. You can see the narrower footage for the Pro and the wider field of view and the more natural colors that you can get with the Ultra. So I would say hands down between the two of these, the Ultra is really coming out strong here. A couple things to keep in mind with the Ultra is that you do have to turn on 4K local recording, which is what I did. Since I'm not paying extra for the 4K over the cloud, I have to get all of my 4K footage off of local storage. If you're looking at it through the app and you're trying to download a clip from the cloud, it's not gonna look as good as it will with the 4K footage that is being streamed to the base station for that local storage. Boy, it's getting bright out here. I found a nice shady spot. So next I wanna test the quality of the camera. What I wanna do is I wanna compare the Ultra to the Pro 2. And I know the max range is about 25 feet for that motion sensor. So that's what I wanted to do is see what the max range that this guy was gonna pick up motion and if it was gonna be able to see these license plates and actually be able to read them. So I set the cameras both up here. They are 25 feet away from the car and let's take a look at the footage of what we got. So first we're looking at the Arlo Ultra. This is what it looks like when it's looking at the car. Now we are shooting in 4K, so let's zoom in. We're gonna zoom in to 200% to see if we can pick up this license plate here. Now the license plate is pretty fuzzy, but I noticed that when I pause the footage, it clears up a little bit. So we're going to go back to play, pause it again, and we can see it a little bit better when it's paused. So it's not ideal, but I guess that's a good thing because essentially if you want a license plate, you're gonna pause it anyway or grab a screenshot or a picture from it. So it's nice that it, at least you're getting a good, nice image that way. Now, if we jump over to the Pro 2, we can't see anything. Let's go ahead and zoom in at 200% here. See if it gets any better. Not really looking good. I can't read what it says. We're gonna pause it. Still not really picking it up. So the Pro 2 is not picking it up where at least with the Arlo Ultra, even though it's not crystal clear, we're able to still at least see something here, which is a positive. So it's not as great as I was hoping it would be or that I've seen in the advertisements, but I'm at least able to get something. So that is my takeaway for the license plate test. All right, we're gonna be testing out the audio next and just to warn you guys ahead of time, that Pro 2 is very low. I have both of the Ultra and the Pro 2 maxed up as high as they will go, but uh, just to give you guys a heads up, this next section here is gonna be pretty quiet, so you may need to turn it up and um, I will have a spot at the end uh, kind of warning you to turn back down for the rest of the video. So heads up, uh, this is gonna be kind of quiet. All right, so we are going to be doing an audio test right now. I am about arm's distance away, so that is about three feet away from both cameras here. So we've got 
the Pro 2 and we've got the Ultra and this is an audio test of what it sounds like between both cameras here. Uh, I would say that the Arlo Ultra definitely has a lot more of a bassy, good sounding quality to it. And the Pro 2 is a little bit tinnier, sounds a lot harder to hear and just just looking at them both on the computer, the Ultra is definitely much better than the Pro 2. All right, well, that's pretty much all I have today, guys. Software was just released this morning, so I just wanted to run through some tests today just to show you guys uh, what we're dealing with, the quality of the cameras now. I'm happy with them. I like it. I would buy this camera again. If this is something that you're interested in, the camera is coming out tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to put links in the description below. Those are affiliate links, so they do help support this channel. I would appreciate if you guys use those. There will definitely be more Arlo videos as I get to use these more, more of a full review. But I hope this video was helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.